I discovered racism um, my whole life. Um, you know, people like to sit here and think that racism isn't a thing, but when you're light-skinned and you see racism, you're just like, um, wow, there's a lot of people in denial here because it's kind of like obvious, like it's in your face. Um, I was born into a mixed family, so there was always a rift between opposite sides of the family. And my mom was even told that like, if I came out black, that, you know, she would be disowned and I would be disowned because my father, he was mostly black and Hispanic mix. So it was a big deal when I didn't come out with super curly hair and all this stuff, but it was a very, you know, confusing thing for me because here I am, you know, and I look like the way I do, but everybody in my father's side of the family is like super, super dark. And this is what I grew up with. This is what I know. This is what I, I'm comfortable around. And then when I get older, I realize I'm not really accepted in that group because I'm too light. And then, and then, and then I realize I'm too dark for the white people and the white group. And I'm, I'm too like hood for them. I'm too, I got too much flavor. I'm not accepted there either. And then it feels weird. Cause it's like, but I'm a part of you too. I'm a part of you too. And then when you go to the, when I go into the, the Spanish, you know, when I, when I, with Spanish people, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not Spanish enough or Hispanic enough or spicy enough or blah, blah, blah enough. I'm just the Americana. And it's like, yeah, and I can't really speak Spanish or anything either. So it's like, it's this really confusing thing where it's like, I don't really look like anybody that I've been, like I was raised from and I don't really like and like I am just kind of a like alone in this because you know I feel comfortable with certain things but people don't feel comfortable with me and like you know I just I, I come into you know like things a little bit naive and then I need to realize like oh shit you know like you know people really are affected by racism so and like I may offend people just by how I look and that sucks, you know, but for people to sit here and deny that it doesn't exist is bullshit, you know, like I remember um, in college, um, when I was in college briefly, like I had a lump sum of money from like your FAFSA thing and I was like, woohoo, I'm gonna go shopping. And me, like I get really, really, really dark in the summer, like if I tan, let me tell you, like I walked into a store one day to buy a scooter. And then a week later, after I had a tan and I went to the beach, the guy didn't even know who I am. He's like, who are you? What are you, what are you here for? And I'm like, oh, sorry, I got a tan. I was here last week, do you remember me? I'm just a little darker. Like he literally didn't know who I was because of how tan I get when I just sit in the sun. Cause I don't burn, no, 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 no. I just get, I just get dark, okay? So it's really crazy to see how people like treat you when your skin is a different color. And then I remember, oh, that's okay. I remember when I went to the mall, which really made me upset about this whole like racism. And of course, you know, it's like the worst case scenario. It's a blonde lady with blue eyes, like, you know, short haircut, prim and proper. And I'm going into the store. I could afford anything in the store. And I guess because of the way I looked or whatever, and she's like, if you're not gonna buy anything, you need to get out of here. Like super, super rude, like the most disrespectful, nasty energy. Like she said it cause she didn't even, it was like, she didn't even want me to even buy anything. She was like, I don't even want your money, bitch. Get the out of here. And I was like, 
<laughs> I was just appalled. I was like, wow, like, like that was legit racist. I literally did nothing but come inside the store and start looking at items because I thought they were cute and I might want to buy them, right? And nope, nope, you're too tan, bitch. Get the fuck out of here. I was like, <sighs> I was shook. I was so angry and like for a while there I had like a lot of trouble like you know dealing with you know like super white people because it was just like at that point it was just like I was like you don't even realize how much privilege you have just by just by being white and like people sit there and be like oh no 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 like you know you you it's everybody's fair it's all we're all treated equally if that was true then the ugly girls in high school would have been the ones that were popular and the pretty girls wouldn't have been because it's an even playing field, right? Come on, let's have common sense. We all have eyes. Like the reality is, is that racism exists. We can't deny it, but we need to figure out how we're going to fix it. And what is the best, what is the best motive? Like what is the best course of action towards that because it exists and people like me these multicultural people that are like alone because we don't really get to fit in any bucket we don't get accepted anywhere you know we're we're sitting here like you know looking at everybody like you guys are fucking dumb because we're over here mixed we have everybody we're like we have so much mixture in us we're like why does everybody hate each other and it's so frustrating from a perspective of somebody that has mixture to like look at the world be like oh well we're gonna fight just because we're different colors it's so stupid it's so primitive it's so childish and yet that's what we're doing right now and it's just crazy to see all of the the unjustness and, and things happening and like i i just i feel like i need to give my perspective on this because I think it can add to the collective conscious and awareness of what is going on and, and, and why, why things are the way they are, you know? As a mixed person, I really love everybody. I think that I see beauty in everything. I understand people from different walks of life and I find it to be kind of awesome and kind of cool because it's like, yeah, I get to enjoy the greatness of everything. And people, if they would just stop and drop their egos, they could see the greatness in each other and where we could complement each other. But there's so much divisiveness and people are allowing the media to divide us and we're not having educated discussions with each other and trying to get along like we're there's purposeful division happening like people it's it's not like people are sitting here saying you know what let's sit down and talk about this no people are getting like aggressive and angry and no, no no i get that i get i get it i get the anger and the aggressiveness right but it's like well we're already in an economic like horrible place already it's not the best to add more economic strain and that's kind of what we've been doing and it's just been overwhelming everything and I just feel like where are the adults <laughs> I'm like where are the adults you know what's going on and that's why I'm here I'm here to ask the hard questions to sit down and 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 go forth and making the right plans and the hard plans and making the hard decisions and the right decisions because I really do want what's right for this country. And there's no best interest, like there really is no best interest. The only interest that I have is that I have a good place to live. My kids have a good place to live and generations after me have a good place to live. And there's actually the freedom that everybody wants because a lot of people are being misled into thinking that socialism is freedom but what we don't understand is that this just the same thing happened to venezuela they were indoctrinated into this amazing idea that togetherness and socialism is the right idea and it sounds beautiful and beautiful on paper but then when they did it look what happened to venezuela please look at venezuela you will see what socialism is and you will understand why it is not a good idea okay 
America is a great country. The problem is, the problem is, is that people do not know better. People have a lack of education. It has nothing to do with the, 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 the construct of how capitalism works, socialism, this and this and that. That has nothing to do with it. What the problem America has is that, that, that the lower socioeconomic tier of people have very low education. So they think that this socialism thing sounds good without actually putting in the research and the, and the thought and the understanding of what that actually is and looking at models of what socialism is, looking at different countries where socialism exists and seeing what rights and freedoms that they have. So it's not that simple. And I just want to educate people because I'm not here to divide. I'm here to bring people together. I'm here to connect people together. I'm tired of the division. I'm tired of like having to only hang out with my black friends over here and then like, oh, I have to hang out with my white friends separately or this or that. You know, it's just like, why? Like, why are we all in pockets all the time? Like, it's just frustrating. And I mean, I get it. I get it. You want to be with your own people, but then, then that's the confusing thing. Like, if you want to be with your own people, then fine. Then stop bitching about other people but at the same time if you don't, if you're not if you, got, you gotta let live and let live and when if, if there's gonna be people letting people let live then there needs to be equality in the places where each of these people live and and should boroughs even exist you know it, it, we've seen it's I, I don't know i don't know how do we mix it up i don't know i don't know but these are the hard questions that we need to start asking because it's not enough to just scream and yell and say oh this sucks and this is wrong and this is not something that we can't have this happen but it's another thing to sit down and write down the plan and say this is what we're going to do to actually make it happen this is what we're going to do to get rid of redlining the red zones and, and making you know property values better in black communities so that they can flourish just as much as people in white communities it's about actually mixing up schools in in black communities instead of keeping them so segregated exposing everybody to everybody because that is a problem if you're not exposed to different cultures and different things and different ideas and different colors you will always be one thing you always be the same so that's why it's important to get a perspective not just your perspective but everybody's perspective and then make make a a, a, a responsible decisive and and reasonable opinion based upon all the information that you gathered and that's it that's where i'm gonna leave this that's where i'm gonna leave it because that sounded good right <laughs> anyways thank you for watching if you like this and you want to hear more about my opinion on everything that's happening i will rant and rave for you again so Please like and subscribe and I will, I'll be here next time.